Hi, Chris Dietrich here at the Sailfish Sports Network with Erica Walters, the starting catcher for Paul Beach Atlantic softball team in Erica. Known for your defense, be it a home run in game one and a home run in game two. You're feeling pretty good up there, huh? Yeah, feeling pretty good. I was kind of in a slump last night, had a couple strikeouts, and coach moved me down to the bottom of the lineup, said I'm going to take the pressure off of you, and I, I felt pressure free and just went up there and had fun. It's got to feel great when, like you said, you're pressure free up there. Is there any pressure handling this pitching staff this year? It seems like you guys, whoever's on the mound, you have great communication. Yeah, um, well, it, there's more pressure with Mary because this is my first year with her, but Bube and Chris, I've been with, well, Chris for four years and now, and Bube, this is our second year. So really our communication with all the pitchers is really good. So good job hitting today. Good job defensively as always. And you got the victories as well, so congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Chris Dietrich again here with this time head coach of the women's softball team, Kimmy Bloomers. And Kimmy, good job here tonight. Bats came out. You guys dropped four straight and come up and get two victories today. Yeah, we were excited. We were very, very close with Barry, very close with Tampa. And I know what was missing was those big hits. And we came out with big hits tonight, and especially with two outs, and really got some good rallies. And I think we really boosted the confidence up a little bit, and we just played as a team tonight. It was great. Yeah, we just spoke with Erica Walters, talked about how good she's been defensively, but also her back came out tonight. How nice is it to get a surprise? Not really surprise, but a bonus like that. Yeah, it is. And, and she has. She's been completely solid for four years with me um, behind the plate. She works her tail off and I'm just so happy that she's back there and it's always a bonus when she gets hits and she was our leading hitter last year and I gave her a little bit of a break and put her down down the lineup this these two games today just to give her a little bit of that break and it worked out nice for her that she got probably that easier pitching and then she was able to hit the ball really well. And as for pitching, you had Lauren on the mound today. Struggled a little bit, sad to leave her in. Tell us a little bit about that. We've been working on that. We've been talking with the pitching staff and we really want them to gain that confidence by staying in and sticking it out. And um, sometimes we got to bring them out. I've been doing a little bit of that baseball mentality. I know that's how I've been raised. And so I'm learning that in this game, it's probably a little bit better to keep them in sometimes. And that's what we've been working on. And they've been you know, pulling through and gaining the confidence and coming out with wins. So good defense. Bats came alive. We got, you know, who do we got coming to look forward to? We have Eckerd on Monday, and we have Flagler on Wednesday. So region games, and we should come out really strong. If we're hitting the way we're hitting and playing the way we're playing, we should come out with some wins. So I'm really excited. Be sure to keep tuned into PBASailfish.com for anything and everything that is Sailfish Athletics, and check out the softball and baseball teams as we move forward.